the past. Late one night, the Scottish twins were sitting in their shed at Arlesboro thinking about the past. Do you remember that red diesel back at the mainland? <sighs> what red diesel? <sighs> the red diesel we pushed off the bridge? Douglas realized what diesel Donald was talking about. After a few minutes, they both looked at each other with a sad expression. D do you think he survived? He probably didn't survive, but I feel bad for pushing him off the bridge. That night, Donald and Douglas went to bed feeling very sad indeed. Oh... Oh, oh my, aching radiator. <laughs> What's happened? We rebuilt you after you fell off a bridge. Diesel 5 woke up and remembered everything. Diesel, you'll be going to a new heritage railway called the Bluebell Railway. Bluebell Ra- I work for British Rail. I must be in service, I can't be late. <laughs> Sorry, mate. British Rail have already replaced all your kind. War-class locomotives are long gone. Diesel 5 stared. He finally realized why all the steam engines hated diesels back then. He felt sorry for the engines, sorry for how he treated them, and especially what he did to the six engines lying at the bottom of the bay. The years went by, and Diesel 5 was bought by many different preservation railways, one day, he was bought by a new owner. A few days went by of sitting in the shed as normal, and the manager of the railway he was staying at came into the shed he was staying in. Hello, Diesel 5. You'll be leaving this railway to the island of South Old tomorrow morning. Diesel 5 looked at his manager with surprise. Do you mean Sir Top Man has bought me? That is correct, Diesel 5. Diesel 5 felt happy because he thought he'd finally be working on an actual railway pulling passengers and freight. It had been a long time since he'd felt useful, and he couldn't wait to get back to work. He wouldn't have to wait long. The next morning, Diesel 5 was coupled up to the back of a freight train heading for the island. Donald and Douglas were sitting at Vickerston when they saw a very familiar shape pulling into the station. Dougie! Dougie, do you see that? I... I... I do! As Donald and Douglas watched, they saw Diesel 5 rolling into the station. Diesel 5 saw them too, but said nothing. He felt very nervous seeing the twins after so many years. Uh, uh, hello. 57646 and... Uh, <clears throat> 57647. Donald Douglas stared, and silently, slowly, steamed away from the yards. Later that day, though, they all met up once more. Diesel found Donald and Douglas at Knapford Station, in between trains, talking to each other. Uh, <coughs> hello, <laughs> uh, five, seven, six, four, six, and um, <coughs> six, four, seven. After a few minutes of silence, Douglas spoke. Hello, Diesel 5. Diesel 5 looked over to Donald and noticed he was crying. How do you survive? I don't know. But, but I somehow did. Donald, I just want to apologize for almost pushing you off the dark side. I understand now what it is to be outdated. It isn't pleasant at all. And I want to let you know that you're not any less useful. It's just the world moves on without you. You don't really get chances anymore to show you what you're made of. But we'll show them, won't we? Donald and Douglas looked at Diesel 5 for a few minutes, and then smiled warmly at him. The end. <laughs>